hey guys welcome back to my channel it's the 13th of may and i'm super excited because it's our wedding anniversary <laughs> i am so so excited right now like i can i can barely contain myself that's how excited i am today and so today i have decided to give my husband a little surprise and I decided to film that so okay before now before now we had before the pandemic and the lockdown we had made plans to go on vacation for our anniversary but you know so I decided okay even though we're not traveling it doesn't mean we shouldn't do something special yeah so today I'm going to be making his favorite meal well is it his favorite meal? one of his favorite meals because he has quite a number of favorite meals so I'm gonna be making one of his favorite meals I'm gonna be showing you how I make that that's one and also this is where the surprise comes in I'm going to try to transform the kitchen into like a romantic <laughs> into like a romantic hideout oh my god I have a picture in my head here yeah? and I have tried to get supplies online but I just pray that what I have in my head comes out with everything that I have so you're gonna watch me transform this kitchen into a, a romantic <laughs> oh my god I can hardly sit still I'm super excited oh god let's do this So a quick rundown of all the ingredients we have. I've got colored bell peppers. I have frozen mixed vegetables, spring onions and red onions. Um, this is curry. I have rapeseed oil, some soy sauce, seasoned shrimps. This is a mixture of black and white pepper with thyme. This is a mixture of vegetable seasoning and no seasoning cubes. I've got salt and that was chicken stock. And of course, the most important ingredient, rice. Imagine cooking vegetable fried rice without rice. <laughs> so we're washing our rice very well, like wash it well. Yeah. First thing is to set a pot on the cooker. Add your oil, then toss in your spring onions and red onions. The combo of these two heightens the flavor of whatever it is you're cooking it with. I mean, let it fry a bit. Then add your ginger and garlic. Next, I'll be adding my white and black grounded pepper mix with thyme. With thyme, yeah. So, um, and next thing is to add my washed rice. I'm doing I'm, what I'm doing now is to fry my uncooked rice let it get crispy without burning then I add my curry then I add then I put in the chicken stock I cover it to let it cook one thing you should note is that I'm not pouring so much water do not pour so much water I just added after this um what's it called after the chicken stock I just added like a very small cup of water because I do not want the rice to be soft yet if it soft by now the rice will get soggy you get so i'm gonna set this aside and so now on a in a frying pan i would add some oil add the remaining red onions and spring onions then i'll throw in my seasoned shrimps and then my green yellow and red bell peppers my god i love throwing this in most of my meals they make the food jump to life like in an instant the food jumps to life with colors and of course they are vegetables so it's always a win-win situation next i pour in my soy sauce and i mix that in as well i mix it in then i add some salt some seasoning and the leftover spice that's the mixed um pepper black and white pepper remember then i throw that in as well so i cover the pot and let it steam on low heat and by the time i am opening that pot back hallelujah <laughs> so i'm covering it then now it's oh boy oh boy you feel me now this is almost ready so now i'll put the i'm going to throw in the vegetables the cooked vegetables into the rice now and then i would add the mixed vegetable the frozen mixed vegetables 
that I showed you earlier. I'm going to pour that in now and then cover with, um, what's it called? A foil. I'm going to cover it with a foil and put it on low heat, cover it with the, with the cover of the port and let it steam. Now, you know, I mentioned earlier that the rice shouldn't be cooked. It is at this point that the rice will cook. Don't worry. You don't have to add water now. The steam will cook the rice will make the rice soft without getting soggy if you put some water now your rice is going to get soggy and it won't be nice so ta-da here we are <laughs> i am too excited this is gonna be a superb meal yeah can you feel can, can, can you can you see that now it's time to set up So now I'm ready to start transforming the kitchen. So let's do it. So something I have to deal with right now is the light, the amount of light coming in. I'm going to put up some artificial light and I need them to, what's it called, some LED fairy light. So for it to show, I have to cover the window. So I'm going to use this. I am such a lover girl. <laughs> See me climbing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I haven't mentioned if it's your first time being on this channel. I hope you're loving it so far. If you are, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please click on the like button. Drop a comment, please, please, please drop a comment and then share. Thank you. So I decided to add the wedding albums, the wedding photo album so that when we're done eating, we can just scroll through, look at those pictures again. See the table I have set. What do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. So about the chicken. Even though I didn't show you how I made the chicken, I'm gonna do that in the next video. Do you get it? Join us. Mm. Oh, Bill, this is good. Very good. Mm.